What are you looking at? Didn't you hear me? I said, what are you looking at? You're definitely thinking something about me and I'm guessing it ain't about my mind. What do you know about me anyway? You who see me with those eyes thinking you know everything that you don't. You ever think you might be wrong about me? You who think you know so much. I know you got me all figured out, right? I'll tell you what you should know. I'll tell you what I want you to know. People are more than flesh and blood and teeth and hair. I am more. I'm a person. I'm a girl. No, I am a woman. Look at me. Look at me. I know things you know nothing about. I know what it is to be abused and used and dirty and unclean. I thought to be loved was to be devoured, chewed up and spit out, <laughs> giving it away, laying down with a guy thinking this time it's going to matter. This one's going to be different. This one's going to see me and know me, hear me, love me. <laughs> I know a lot of men. Yeah, I do. Men who didn't hear my no, even though I said it, they didn't hear it because they didn't ask. And they didn't ask because they didn't have to. I mean, it's me, right? No one asks a girl or a woman like me. So yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why do you think I go to the well in the middle of the day when I know none of you will be there? It's been like this my whole life. But today I met someone. He was different, you know? Can I tell you about him? Please, can I tell you? This man, he saw me. He spoke to me. He asked me for a drink of water. <laughs> and I know that ain't usually a big deal, but to ask me? He wasn't exactly the kind of man that talks to a girl. <laughs> like me. This man, he knew everything. He knew, he knew about the stuff that I don't let you see. He knew about the stuff that I don't look at. He told me about my pain and my fear my desires, my sin. Okay, so it's sort of nuts, but coming from anybody else, the things that he said would have sounded like condemnation and hate, but from him it was different. It was, it was grace and mercy. It was forgiveness, love. This man took the time to see me. And when he saw me, he knew me. He knew about every thought that I have in my head. He knew about the dreams that I couldn't tell no one about because he would believe me anyway, right? But he did. He knew about this nervous thing that I get inside, that it's like, 
It's like my mouth is always dry and I just gotta have something to drink. It's like I got this thing that says, if I just give some guy what he wants just one more time, then I'll be loved. I won't be thirsty no more. Do you know what I'm talking about? This man says that he can help me. He said that he can give me the kind of water that will make me clean again. That will fill me up forever and it will take away this edginess I got inside. I told him that I had always heard and that I had even hoped that God would come and help me someday. Because I can't do it on my own anymore, you know? <laughs> but he told me I am he. <laughs> I am he. And I knew. I just knew. I believed. I am not who you think I am. You've been wrong about me. I've been wrong about me. That's why I had to come here today. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. You gotta meet this man. You've gotta. Because of him, I am clean. I am pure. I am loved. And that changes everything. I'm different. Yeah, it's me. The woman at the well. I am a woman. And that's my story.